Samsung Gallery has been one of my favorite apps that I use on my Galaxy S21 Ultra. Like many other Samsung apps, it has tons of really cool features and several hidden or perhaps unconventional features as well. On some level, it also tries to compete with Google Photos, but the main difference is that it resides on your phone rather than in the cloud. But if you will allow it, it will create stories and memories out of your photos just like Google Photos does. However, in this video, I will talk about some of the really cool hidden features of Samsung Gallery app. The first thing that I want to talk about is the erase feature which allows you to erase any unwanted thing or person out of your photos. Before Google came out with their magic eraser feature Samsung had already launched this erase feature and it works pretty neatly too. To use it simply open any photo then go in editing mode tap on these three dots and here select object eraser. Now simply outline whatever you want to remove and hit erase. It will be removed. The more precise you are with your selection better the results. However if you choose to select rather subjects, you will end up with some artifacts in the photo. So this feature works best when you are dealing with smaller things. But sometimes you can choose to remove a larger object and still get perfect results. I guess that's just how the algorithm works. But the good thing here is that, that you get the undo feature as well. So if your selection is not working, you can simply undo it and try to redo it. Next up is Samsung's remaster feature. It allows you to improve your photos with the tap of just one button. It takes care of the brightness, resolution and even sharpening of your photos. Now it can also sharpen blurry faces and fix distortion on TVs and computer screens. In the latest update, it has become even better at doing these things. To use it on any photo, hit these three dots and select remaster picture. It will then also show you the before and after using this feature and also an option to it. However, if you are not happy with the results, you can also revert to the original photo if and when you need to. The next feature that I want to talk about has been included in the latest One UI 4.1 update. Samsung phones have had portrait effect for years now, but one thing they were missing was the ability to add the bokeh effect after taking the photo. The great news here is that in the latest One UI 4.1 update, this feature has been added. Now you can add a background blur effect to any of your photos. To use it, open your photo. Now tap the three dots at the lower right corner and select add portrait effect. Once done, you can then also select the strength of the blur effect. But keep in mind that this feature only works on photos of people with their faces showing, otherwise it will not work. In my testing, it seems to work extremely well and is able to accurately identify and separate the subject from the background. It did pretty good on identifying edges and ears and hair as well, so I'm really excited to get this feature. Next up, I want to talk about groups. Groups in Samsung Gallery work like folders. You can put two or more albums into a group, and guess what? You can even create more groups within groups, and then even more groups within those groups. This makes organizing your gallery very easy and, well, fun. With the help of groups, you can greatly reduce clutter in your gallery app and put similar albums in one place. And this layering of albums can also help some people with the privacy of their personal or family photos. Finally, I want to talk about how you can use the power of Bixby to get the most out of your photos. Did you know that you can now very easily copy text from any of your photos? Select any photo with printed text in it, then tap on this eye icon at the top right of your screen and then see the magic happen. You can then select and copy any text you want from that image. It's as easy as that. And if you want to, you can also translate it to any other language using the power of Google Translate. And before ending this video, I want to do an honorable mention to this feature because I love this feature personally. You can create a shortcut to any album on your home screen. So simply open the album, then tap on these three dots and from here, select add to home screen and then select add. Once you do that, you will see a shortcut on your home screen and then from the home screen, you can go straight into that album. You don't even have to open the gallery app. I think this is a very neat feature to have on your phone and can greatly reduce the number of steps you take to reach a certain album. So that's about it from this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.